Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back. In today's Lux Chit Chat, I'm going to talk about something that is a little personal for me uh, in my luxury journey. As you saw in the thumbnail, I put luxury is changing. I came up with this because I have started to accept that the way I look at luxury has really evolved in the past few years. This is a personal uh, sharing and it may or may not apply to you but I have seen myself truly shift in the way I look at luxury items and it's also because of my circumstances. It's been just very different lately. But before I get into this chit chat, if you found my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Kat. I love to do luxury related videos. I love to do chit chats like this. I love handbags makeup and skincare. So if you enjoy the kind of content, I do hope you will subscribe and for everyone else, welcome back and let's have a chat, let's talk. I'm going to start off with my current circumstances at the moment and if you've been a long time subscriber of mine, thank you so much. But you probably realize that I don't put up as much content as I used to. I used to be able to do two to three videos a week and sometimes I've got my live as well. So I used to be quite consistent, but I'm finding it very challenging to put out even a video a week. In fact, I have to do something in about an hour and it's just been so, so busy with work. And I know all of us have a very busy life. I feel like I'm losing control because I've got my work and I teach classes and I go to the gym and then I also do content and I've got to take care of the house. It's just, I don't know how people with lots of kids or even one kid handle this. So I feel like for me, I am just not having a lot of time. And the second thing is I'm so tired. I don't know if it's on top of all these things that I'm doing. I just am so exhausted. At the end of the day, all I want to do is just get home, boil a pot of soup, steam some rice, and sit there and in the in Singapore word is noir. <laughs> just like veg out, just sit there like, you know, trying to absorb whatever energy I have left and just eat my dinner. So I just feel so tired lately. I haven't had, you know, the energy to do like videos. I don't even have energy to go out. I find that even like after this, I'm going to go out. It's a bit of like, oh, I'm I hope it's not going to be three hours long because I want to come back and I want to noir at home again. So with all of that, one of the things that I realized is I'm not enjoying my handbags as much. It's really, really challenging <laughs> to want to go out but don't want to go out. And every time I go out, I feel like it becomes a chore to carry my bags. Handbags has always been my first love. I've Oh my gosh, 20 years of loving luxury. I love bags. And don't get me wrong, I still love handbags. If I go to Ion Orchard, my eyes just make a beeline for everybody's handbags, handbags in the store. So it will always be a constant. It's a lifestyle, as how one of my uh, subscribers said. It's a lifestyle. Look, she's like lifestyle. So I love it. But the thing is, it's not, um, it's not in the same frequency as my current life, my real life, which is work and gym and all of that. So I feel like I'm struggling to almost hang on to this love of having luxury bags, enjoying them as much as I can, the cost per wear, but yet still match my really, really mundane work at home and Zoom meetings and all of this and teaching classes and just meeting my friends as well is just so it's not it's not on the same frequency or wavelength but as i mentioned luxury is like a little lifestyle and even though after a long day i'm so tired i really don't want to like think about handbags i have found a different kind of luxury this is where i'm coming from it is changing very personal for me i think i sort of started it a little bit over the few years especially during the pandemic but i am right now accepting that I want to spend my money in those areas because it's that kind of luxury that I find so fulfilling right now. So let's start off with the most easiest one, okay? Let's talk about the one that I think all of you are going to agree. Time. Wow. I, it's <laughs> like today is a public holiday. I really appreciate having this set, like time, few hours, even if I'm wasting it, like I know people would say, I want to use every single minute of my life, do something with my life, you know what I mean? Study, read, no, no, seriously. If I have a few minutes of my day, an hour, two hours, I want to literally waste it. I just want to rest. I just want to lie on the couch, on the floor, whatever. I just don't want to do anything and I want to scroll my phone and leave me alone. Like I, that to me is luxury right now. I 
guess I take it for granted sometimes but now in this past few months where it's been busy and I can't even you know I can't even travel home and it's it's just a little madness so yeah it's time I just don't want to I just want to rest so I'm sure a lot of you can agree that time when you have it is such it's such a luxury now the one that's I guess not so deep <laughs> is wow i have really enjoyed having my senses sort of been um peaked or like just really uh, enhanced so i used to think think things like candles and aromatherapy is such a waste of money but wow it is so nice to come home take a shower ready t-shirt on and light a candle in the house. Ugh, I know, it's it's literally burning money away. Not like a bag, you still can sell the bag. When I'm eating my soup with my rice at night and I have a nice candle, and, and I just started this, okay, but I am feeling that this is where I am really going to spend my money on. And it's okay, like my other video, it's okay. If I'm starting to like this, it's okay. So I just started to buy candles. So I started with Joe Malone and I know with the true candle community probably this is not good quality but it's expensive candles I don't know, I don't know Okay, anyway Joe Malone, uh, lime, basil and mandarin And I have like, uh, I have this on my dining table I light it up, me with my Asian food, <laughs> Asian soup and I've got this candle lighting up it's, It just lights up the room A little bit of flickering and there's a very light scent, this lime scent it's so, it's so luxurious. It's such a bougie, which I think that's, the, yeah, it's in French, bougie perfumery, which bougie means candle, I think. It's so bougie, literally. It's like, you don't need a candle in your life. Like, you don't need expensive handbags. But this, to me, has been, it's, it's so good. I'm here thinking I need to get a diptych big candle, put it at the back. It's decorative as well. Yeah, it's so strange. It's um, I'm kind of starting to accept that I want sensory luxury items. So candle is one. Another one which, you know, thanks to Hermes, I am exploring. But a nice cup. I would never want to spend a lot of money on these kind of porcelain. Because look at this one. I cracked it already. I feel so sad. I feel like I need to get another one. But drinking out of a nice coffee cup, it's so enjoyable. I cannot put the right word into it. It's bougie, it's enjoyable, it's relaxing, it's me, my time, and I just love looking at it. So yeah, these are the couple of things that are sensory, they're just very lifestyle, really, really lifestyle. Nobody else will enjoy it. Like, I don't carry these things out of the house, they don't go or leave the house, they just sit here for me, and it's almost selfish. I feel like that, to me, is another piece of luxury that I want to put my money in. The third shift for me is really now exploring jewellery. It started off a few years ago uh, when I got my love bracelet. I have definitely matured in my taste. Uh, well, not taste, but no, no, I'm not matured in my taste. I don't have fine taste. So I have definitely matured in my acceptance that Luxury is not just bags, it's also jewellery. It took me a while to get here because, again, luxury jewellery is, or at least from the luxury houses, is very, very, you know, it's a waste of your money. If you're thinking about real gold, it's not worth it. But I get a lot of joy out of it. So I have with me like a few pieces of jewellery here. I constantly wear, these are my two stacks that I, I don't know, I just recently, like a couple of days ago, just put them together and I love how it looks like diamonds with diamonds. <laughs> Can never have enough diamonds. And I just really starting to be more and more willing to spend my money on jewellery. I still love bags, but I'll come to the bags in a moment. But moving from bags, I actually like a few, like last night, I was thinking about it. Maybe I will buy that 16 stone diamond ring from Tiffany, which I have another video talking about it. I'll come up with that. Maybe I'll try and film that tomorrow or something when I have time, right? When I have the luxury of time. To me, that's the ring that got away because of the price. But because I'm now shifting that, you know, moving away from willingness to buy expensive bags, that now maybe I'm shifting to being more willing to just pay it for the jewelry. Because again, sensory, right? Candles, cups, 
this is something very personal. It sits on my body every day and I want it to be every day as well. I can wear it, I can enjoy it, I love the sparkle. It's selfish luxury in a way and I just feel so good about it. I don't have to baby it, worry about it getting wet this year. I have really started to pay for beauty services for things like um, Pico laser for a Sigma Live, for a whole bunch of things. I actually decided that I want to take care of myself. Again, a selfish luxury that I want to take care of my skin better. I love skincare still, so I'll still buy that, but I need a little bit more help now. <laughs> so laser treatments. If you want me to talk about that in other videos, I will also do about that. But uh, yeah, I'm I am investing in this part of my life as well. It's a maintenance, I guess. And yeah, I'm more and more willing to look into that as part of my whole luxury lifestyle. So we've got sensory things, we've got, you know, jewelry, face you gotta take care of. Where does that where does my bags come into this whole picture? It's taken a little bit of a backseat. And that's me being absolutely honest. I have thankfully downsized my collection. I don't have that many bags anymore. I feel like I still can downsize maybe two or three, two, two or three bags. But where does that leave my whole uh, bag need? Because I have almost all the bags that I could ever dream of. I, I have so many beautiful bags. But my taste in bags, it's still involving. So as I do this video, I really don't know how I can categorize what I'm looking for in the bags. Been buying it for so many years. I bought all types, trendy bags, colorful bags, boring bags, plain bags, big bags, small bags. I bought them all. And now I have settled on a collection that even today I feel it's not tight enough because of all these changes in my life, my circumstances that I just don't use the bags. And there are some that sit there a little idle. So for example, my Chanel Classic Flap. I honestly, since I got it, I have only used it literally. I can count with the, the palm of one hand. Bags like that, there are some in my collection. Do I want to keep that bag? The answer is yes. I'm still struggling to figure out how my bag collection and my future bag purchases are going to be like because firstly, I don't have unlimited funds, right? And truly my taste is shifting to jewelry, to my face, you know, like, to these like burnable money things. I want to hang on to loving bags, but, and I still do, like I, like I said earlier, it's something that my eyes will always make a, make a beeline for. I love seeing handbags. I love the new creations, but will I want to bring it into my collection? It's become, um, at least the one word that I can think of right now is I am extra, extra picky with bags. I don't want to go and try a trendy bag. At least I don't mind looking at it. But do I want to bring in my collection? The answer is no. It's still evolving. I don't know. I can't define it at the moment. But I know that with the current circumstances that it has to be at least easygoing, not fussy, not high maintenance. Yeah, I think that is just, you know, this is really just on the top. I don't even have notes for this, but I'm thinking that it's going to be at least these three things. And if it doesn't fit these three things, most likely I won't get it. Or it is the other extreme where it's an occasional bag, where it's just for dinners and I probably only need one or two of those and I already have it. So will I buy those again? No. Then there's those bags that just cut across the whole spectrum of trendy, fun, looks good, a little fussy here, you know, little, all of that in this whole bracket of other types of bags. Wow, I don't know if I'm interested in, in, in them anymore where my circumstances are. Yeah, luxury for me has really changed. I'm probably rambling right now, so I'm going to stop here and throw this question back to all of you who are watching. How is luxury defined for you right now? What has shifted for you or has not shifted for you? And if you have some thoughts on uh, bags as well, if you have gone through something very similar to me where, you know, it's the first love and now it's transformed, how is how has your bag um, habits change? The choices you make, what are some thought processes that you have to say that yes, 
this is the bag that suits my current circumstance. This is the bag that fits what I need right now. What are some criteria that you look for? I would love to hear from you because I am trying to define it again for me. And it's not that I'm being fickle, but I feel like I need that advice to solidify some of these thoughts in my head, which are just like, like going everywhere. But I know for sure, as I said, time is a luxury for me. Sensory things, I'm willing to buy. I'm really, really, really willing to spend my money on it. Jewelry, wow. I am kind of obsessing over jewelry right now. And my face, oh my gosh, my face. I'm not vain. Oh no, wait, let me scrap that. I am vain. I am vain, okay, I am vain. <laughs> I cannot stand spots on my face. I will try my very best to get rid of all these spots. You can't see them because I have quite a bit of makeup on. But yeah, I'm vain, okay, so I'm vain. So I'm willing, I'm willing now, okay, I'm willing now in my 40s to spend my money on some laser work. But bags, bags are starting to, they need to be prioritized. So anyway, I will, I'm looking forward to reading all your comments. I hope I'm not too rambly in this video. When I edit it, I'll try to cut out all the fluff. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, I do hope you'll give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell as well. I love to have you back on this channel. So till my next video, you all take care. So till my next video, everyone, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you then. Bye!